We have not heard the government. Saying this about us. We have not Anandya heard Anandya either. Mr. One Anandya second, Anandya. Mr. Solicitor, one second. We'll put a lid on this now. Otherwise, this will go on endlessly. Well, Anandya, you may... One second. We have not heard either the Attorney General of India, who is leading arguments for the Union of India, the Solicitor General, who has shouldered a large part of the burden, say that these petitions should be dismissed on the ground that they are separatist agenda. They have argued the matter on merits. It has been argued on constitutional terms. We have indicated that that's how we are going to resolve this issue. And I don't think that's the that's been the main plank of either no. the solicitor, the attorney, or anybody who else who follow it. We have seen it. India is referred to as if it's a foreign country. All right. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Belt. No, therefore, I was insisting yesterday me now, sir. that okay. his affidavit must say that I withdraw these statements. Once. I do not well, support I... terrorism. I do not support any separatist activity and no citizen in this country can logically must have, have a uniform affidavit for every filing. citizen to file this, Malaj. Can I, can I just say this point? The point three at page six, they say pushing a separatist agenda, filing a 370 petition in this court is pushing a separatist I'm agenda. sorry. I have a very strong objection to the government of India taking this. I am here. sorry. All I... of us are pushing a separatist agenda. Please, by being... please, please. Uh, okay, uh, one second, one second. No, no, I'll, I'll uh, clarify. One I'll, I'll, second. Mr. 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 Solicitor, please wait for a second. Mr. Shankarayan, I think this is unfortunate. Nobody can say that because a petition under 32 has been filed, up to this point, nobody has said that the filing of a petition no, constitutes no, separatist right. agenda. I have said we have, what are you saying there? But why the state is mentioned one even second. after filing yes the access one second access to our court for ventilating grievances of citizens within the framework of the constitution is a constitutional right in itself anyone who accesses justice under article 32 cannot be turned out on the ground that you are following out following this agenda or that agenda on merits which way any individual petition goes is for the court to separate the grain from the shaft. But I don't think I, I we have not, Mr. Jankanarayan, we have not heard the government. We have not heard either. One second, Mr. Solicitor, one second. We'll put a lid on this now. Otherwise, this will go on endlessly. One second. We have not heard either the Attorney General of India, who is leading arguments for the Union of India, the Solicitor General, who has shouldered a large part of the burden, say, that these petitions should be dismissed on the ground that they are separatist agenda. They have argued the matter on merits. It has been argued on constitutional terms. We have indicated that that's how we are going to resolve this issue. And I don't think that's the that's been the main plank of either no. the solicitor, the attorney, or anybody who else who follow it. That's all, that's all sometimes sometimes, that mentioning sometimes of... when individuals as inter interveners come before the court, we also, as judges, understand that there is, an, there's there's a, a there is an anguish. There is an anguish which was expressed, uh, which was expressed, is not the and that anguish, that anguish, which many of the interveners have expressed, we as judges know how to deal with that. Give also, me a minute more. Give me a minute well, more. The date for 18th March is well, mentioned. That petition is filed to show that even subsequent to the filing of the petition uh, in May uh, 2018, etc., etc., my lord. This continued. Mr. Solicitor, you have made, of a petition Mr. is Solicitor, not as I said. You have made your point. You have made your point, Mr. Solicitor. Uh, Mr. Yes. Sibel. Well, as I hope that sentiment applies to us also because we have not made any submission other than on the law and the constitution. Mm -hmm. Just right. as the and other side has done it. Or at least we have not made any submission outside of that, Mother. That we want to carry on this debate, Mother, through the constitution, not through processes of this nature. Anyway, Mother. Now, yesterday your lordship asked me a question about merger, how many mergers have taken place. Kindly come to volume four. Not, 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 I leave it to the court. Mr. Judge, please don't enter. There, 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 there is a limit to uh, that. There is a boundary. Yes. Malaj, volume four. Just one second, Mr. It's very important, Malaj. So this is, as I told your lordships, all the states who joined the provinces. And then they were merged, provinces which merged. So they first joined the provinces and the provinces merged. And you have 21 such mergers. And the dates of the agreements are on the left side. 1148, 1148, 1248. This is after Malat's January 20, uh, before January 26, 1950. This is the important. This didn't happen with as far as JNK is concerned. Mothers. Now, this is now one part. Now, kindly come to the next table. That is statement showing 
area and population of states constituting central administered areas, which were the chief commissioner's provinces. Now you see here, there's no question of any Malert's um, merger. No question of any merger. It was directly administered. And but through merger agreements. Now these, uh, just for a factual clarification, these centrally administered areas, uh, what was their status under the Government of India Act? Were they, uh, they were treated as chief commissioner's provinces? And they become centrally administered areas. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. Now come to the third. These were princely states, Malas, which actually went to the unions. These are princely states, Malas, many of them. Kindly see, Malas. Manipur, Tripura, Bilaspur, Kutch, Haroch, Chamba, Mandi. These are all princely, Raja of Mandi. These are all princely states that merged into the chief commissioner's provinces, which are termed as chief commissioner, directly administered. Then the third statement is those which no. constituted unions. That's right. Now so they these, formed yeah. a union of more than one of the. Correct. Uh, now, states. this is important, Willis. Kindly see. How are the merger agreements here? Only five. Now you'll see, Malad, item one. Uh, 22, 22 units, as I told your lordships yesterday, in Saurashtra. Then, Malad, Jodhpur, Jaipur. This was called originally Rajputana, which included all these. Then you have... 15648 Madhya Bharat. You know what you see that? Madhya Bharat. Then 2848 Patiala, East Punjab, Union Travan, uh, and then Travan Court Cochin. This is 552. Total 275, grand total 552. So you have, therefore, the Chief Commissioner's provinces. You had the province, uh, uh, the, the uh, uh, princes merging into the provinces, and you had these five states, all through merger agreements, no exception, except Jammu Kashmir, because that was not that was not conceived in terms of three seventy itself. Now kindly come to 373 minutes. This is also important. Maybe we have 373. Three. Now, now what in these in these five provinces called the Union of States. What were the kind of notifications issued, Malas? What were the kind of proclamations issued? Your Lordships will find at 373 onwards. So this 552 was an addition of 216 plus 61 plus 275. Correct. 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 Yes. Correct, Malas. So now if your Lordship comes to PDF 373. Now, you see that Raj Pramukh of Union of Patiala, East Punjab states, uh, Saurashtra, Travancore, Rajasthan, Madhya Bharat, rules of, rules of Hyderabad, Mysore, Jammu Kashmir are published. This is the proclamation. What does the proclamation say? Last paragraph, I now hereby declare. Your Lordship has that? My Lords have that? It says, I hereby declare that, that the Constitution of India shortly to be adopted by the Constituent Assembly shall be the Constitution for Patiala, East Punjab, as well as other parts of India, and shall be enforced as such. Come to the next one, brothers. 
each of them malas had the same proclamation each of them 